Jessica Murphy is tracking the plan to tighten tax loopholes. She joins us now live from the House of Commons. You've been in lockup all day, Jessica. Tell us about this situation. What, $4 billion is what the government plans to retrieve? Uh, $4 billion, $4.4 billion actually over five years and it's not just uh, shutting tax loopholes, it's also going after tax cheats. So that's one of the big things that we did see in the budget is this thing, this idea that we are, the Canadians are no longer going to allow, the Canadian government will no longer uh, allow or turn a blind eye in any way to people putting money in offshore tax havens. So one of the key things that they're doing is actually they'll be paying snitches who tell on tax cheats, <laughs> wow. for example. They will. So if you know uh, of someone who's putting over $100,000 in some offshore account illegally and you tell on them successfully, you'll get 15% of whatever's recovered. So that's one of the I see incentives they Jessica, have. Jessica, I see ex-wives coming to the table. <laughs> it, that, we, that there was actually jokes about that in the lockup. So that's one of the uh, one of the things they're doing, in co uh, as well as things like increasing fines, even jail time for possessing the use of software uh, that allows for tax evasion. Uh, also, having the Canadian Revenue Agency uh, looking, taking a closer look at uh, foreign transfers, electronic cash transfers over ten thousand dollars overseas. That's something that's only currently being uh, looked at by our Financial uh, Transactions Analysis Centre. So it's expanding that. So. A whole host of incentives, one, for people to snitch on tax cheats, but also disincentives, more uh, penalties if you are actually doing that. And again, closing tax loopholes. For the most part, these tax loopholes really affect the wealthiest Canadians, corporations who are legally paying lower taxes, but now they'll have fewer ways of doing so. So there's a, com uh, a number of very complex uh, infrastructure schemes that are being used that will no longer be allowed in this budget. And as I noted, it is uh, the government does hope, and they say it is a conservative estimate, to find about $4.4 billion over the next five years. They say in some cases they're not quite sure how much they'll be able to recoup for example when it does come to tax cheats they don't know because it is illegal it's an illegal activity exactly how much is going overseas so uh, they do say the 4.4 is a conservative amount and this is of course to help shore up falling revenues for example uh, in commodity prices right. the government when it comes to oil and gas revenues are losing about uh, a four point four billion dollars a year so it'll help balance that out uh, somewhat Anita okay Jessica tell me this uh, we went to a live uh, press conference with Thomas Mulcair, the leader of the official opposition. He said he was not happy with how First Nations were being treated insofar as uh, the Conservatives plan to tie welfare payments to skills training. What have you heard on that front? Well, that was also a new element in the budget. Just overall, there's about $626 million in new spending going towards First Nations. It is education, skills training, some infrastructure, a commercial fishing, a whole host uh, of different programs. There's about $240 million of that going towards skills training for Aboriginal youth. They are one of the fastest growing demographics in Canada, one of the most undereducated, uh, underemployed as well. So there's really a focus on that in the budget. But there's a significant chunk of that $241 million that is going to reserves uh, that, that can opt in, but when it comes to offering this skills training, uh, any, any welfare recipients on those reserves, it will be linked. They will only get welfare if it's linked directly to skills training. They do have to do uh, the skills training. It would be mandatory. So, of course, the opposition not too happy with that, but it is something new that's contained uh, within this budget. All right. Uh, very exciting uh, things coming out of the budget. Uh, thanks for tackling those two issues for us. You're very welcome. Uh